Hi, it's The Wire. It is Sunday morning, November 14th, 2021. Before I uh, check out some NFL games, let's talk boxing. Now, online, you have a very important development. You have people who were at the Saul Alvarez Canelo fight who have posted their films from the fight. So in my favorites folder right now, if you haven't seen the fight already, you actually have the full fight posted from someone in the stands who had an excellent view. Now, Canelo has been great for this site, right? Canelo has been great for the sport. Understand, you don't have a figure this big, a figure this successful every day in boxing, right? So Canelo is very successful. And just like we would break down Mike Tyson in 1988 when he made it look like a jab was irrelevant in boxing, when we were asking the question of who can beat Mike Tyson, what I want people to do is to look at this Canelo Caleb Plant film. I also want you to Google statements made by two great fighters. Oscar De La Hoya, when Oscar was openly thinking about fighting Canelo, right? This is recent. And Carl Frotch. I want you to think about both of them as you look at the film of Canelo. Now let's take a step back here and let's talk about Caleb Plant. Something is clearly wrong with Caleb Plant's right hand right his shoulder something is preventing Caleb Plant from throwing right hooks with authority just look at the film folks think about a right hook think about when he would throw it <clears throat> right understand athletes whether it's Baker Mayfield in football whether it's Andre Ward in boxing will have injuries that they know will require surgery. But they're not going to pass up the payday. They're going to make accommodations because they understand if they go the surgery route, they're going to be out of the mix for a prolonged period of time. So if you're Caleb Plant, whatever he's telling the public, if you're Caleb Plant and you have risen to the championship, at 168 you're an unbeaten champ and you have a shoulder problem in your right hand no one's told me that I'm just like everyone else here looking at film and that shoulder problem only allows you to throw straight rights right your right hook is lacking power well you might take the Canelo fight just like you took the Uskadege fight before you've had surgery on your shoulder. So as you look, in my opinion, my read on the film, right? And now it's online so you can look at it. Canelo, by far his best punch, is his left hook. It's clear his strategy against Caleb Plant is to be on his front foot, to get up on Caleb Plant, on his right side, and to throw left hooks. Canelo can alter the punch. He can throw it wide, he can throw it short, right? But he wants to take Caleb Plant out with the left hook. That's obvious early. Canelo also has a straight right hand. Right? He can throw a right hook, but that's not his bread and butter. So you'll notice that he wants, because Caleb Plant bends, and Canelo has clearly studied Phil, he wants to hit him with a left hook. If Caleb Plant is ducking under the left hook, you'll notice in round after round, Canelo is trying to throw a chopping right hand down on Caleb Plant. In my opinion, that's the Canelo game plan.
Now here's the problem. We'll talk about the problems here. Oscar De La Hoya, his former promoter, talks about how Canelo sometimes is leaning over his front foot, which boxers know is a big no-no. Right? Oscar's telling you that Canelo doesn't move as well, and Canelo moves extremely well in the Caleb Plant fight, but not on the level that Oscar could move. Look at the last three rounds of Oscar against Felix Trinidad. What Oscar is suggesting, and understand, Oscar fought a lot like Caleb Plant, right? Oscar's a lefty. Right? Didn't have much of a right hand. What Oscar's telling you is that he believes he would outbox Canelo. That Canelo is there to be hit. Canelo is there to be countered. Right? Again, go through Oscar De La Hoya interviews. There's a moment there where Oscar starts critiquing Canelo after their relationship deteriorated. And Oscar lists the flaws in Canelo. Oscar would have had a reach advantage on Canelo. Oscar, more fluid. I'm not talking about Oscar today, folks. I'm talking about Oscar in his prime, right? We understand. There's a difference between being 31, which Canelo is, and coming up on 50, which Oscar is. Right? But just understand. Oscar looked at Phil. Canelo used to be a golden boy fighter. And Oscar himself thought that Canelo had certain holes in his game. What I want people to do is to look at Carl Frotch. Now Carl Frotch made statements recently where he said he felt he would be too much for Canelo. Now look at the ninth round of Plant against Canelo. Look at how Plant is controlling Canelo with a jab. Right, in my opinion, Canelo gets a little tired, downshifts in the round, but is clever enough to try to steal the round in the closing seconds. Well, understand, Carl Frotch had a jab. Now what I want people to think about is how that jab would have affected the positioning in the fight. Because Carl Frotch also had an uppercut. Now as you see Canelo trying to throw a left hook round after round. Right? Round after round. It's a left hook. He's on his front foot coupled with a straight right hand. Just ask yourself, against a guy like Carl Frotch, who could throw an uppercut, is Canelo vulnerable to uppercuts? He has a high guard. He's trying to throw a left hook. Could someone time an uppercut on Canelo? And if someone is threatening an uppercut on Canelo, given that Canelo is left hook heavy, if Canelo gives himself an arm bar, would that leave Canelo open? Could a savvy customer with an uppercut, with a jab, who could throw power from distance, like Carl Frotch, who also had a right hook, could he have given Canelo major problems? Now the right hook is key because you'll notice Canelo knows Caleb Plant doesn't have the right hook to counter his left hook. In other words, when Canelo is over on Caleb Plant's right side, he's throwing left hooks like this, right? He's leaning in and throwing it. It's a here trigger left hook. He can throw it fast. But the catch is it's not all about hand speed. You see Canelo coming. Right? 
you see him coming over to your right side so you know he's setting up a left hook. Could someone with an excellent right hook hit Canelo as he's trying to throw his left hook? Could someone with a right hook, Carl Froch, David Benavides, could someone with a right hook convince Canelo over the course of the fight that being on his front foot and coming up on your right side is a costly idea. It's going to lead to an exchange that Canelo might not like the consequences of. Right, so folks, let me just close by saying boxing is highly competitive. If when you watch this Caleb Plant, Canelo fight, you find that Plant's jab kept Canelo at bay, that Canelo was a bit too obvious in this fight. You know he's going to be on his front foot, don't you? <clears throat> you know he's angling to throw that left hook, don't you? You know he's going to try to couple it with a straight right hand, don't you? You knew Caleb Plant was going to be on his back foot. It would have been intriguing. Let's bring Andre Ward into the conversation. Right? We're talking about a great with Canelo. Let's talk about other greats. It would have been intriguing if, as Canelo came forward, and Andre Ward could have stopped him from coming forward. Aren't there times that you wished that Caleb Plant had the kind of physicality particularly on the inside, where he could just bounce into Canelo, right? A big man who can use his body to bounce into Canelo. One way to handle a left hook like this, especially when the guy is methodically coming forward to throw the left hook, is to smother the left hook, right? As Canelo comes forward, you come forward. Right? Look at the Floyd Mayweather Carlos Baldemir fight, for example. Right? One of the best things with Mayweather was his ability to not have to go backward as you hunted him. Right? Mayweather, Shane Mosley. Mayweather almost goes down. He gets hit with a shot. Mayweather makes sure he doesn't back up to the ropes. I mention this because David Benavides is a big man. Arthur Berturbiev, right hook, is a big man. Right? If these guys refuse to go backward, and if they're flashing right hooks, especially the kind of right hook that would have them rolling away from Canelo's left hook, right? You throw the right hook and you move as you throw it. So you're taking the sting out of Canelo's left hook. Is that the kind of punch that might give Canelo problems? Right? At the end of the day, folks, boxing is about rock, paper, scissors. Right? You see a style, Mike Tyson. Right? Where Tyson is just walking through guys. And you think the style's unbeatable until it comes up against a Buster Douglas who has the jab and who can hide an uppercut behind the jab. Right? Understand, some old timers have gone public with their beliefs, Oscar and Carl Froch, that they would have a good shot of beating Saul Alvarez. You need to ask yourself why as you watch the Caleb Plant 
film. Is Canelo who's masterful? Right? He wins the Caleb Plant fight. But is Canelo having problems with Plant's movement? Is he having problems with Plant's jab? He avoids Plant's left hook. I'll concede that. If Plant had a right hook, would Canelo have been able to have stayed as much on Plant's right side throwing left hooks as he does? If you're thinking about Canelo against the Benavides or against the Paterbiev, these are the questions that need to be asked. Right? Let's also ask another question, too. Is it possible to smother Canelo? Canelo's a great body puncher. He's a little shorter than some of the guys at 168. He can get low. He can take out your body. The Canelo-Liam Smith fight is one where Canelo decides to just take away a guy's body. But is it possible that a Carl Frotch and I'm talking prime Carl Frotch, not broadcaster Carl Frotch, right? Please look up the older videos. Is it possible that a Carl Frotch, who showed a great jab and great boxing ability against guys like Arthur Abraham, right? Against Mikel Kessler in the rematch. Is it possible that a Carl Frotch could actually Keep Canelo outside with the jab. Then when Canelo gets inside, make him pay with uppercuts. Right? Canelo's a great fighter. No question about it. Just like Tyson was in 1988. Just like Ray Leonard was when he fought Roberto Duran. Right? All I'm saying is the more film you see on Canelo, I believe the more some older great fighters are going to believe that they would have had a fluidity gap on him, Oscar De La Hoya, right? Or just some weapons to disarm him. You take away the left hook from Canelo. Is he the same fighter? Right? As Canelo comes up and starts to throw that left hook, a savvy opponent might actually view that as an opportunity for a right hook. Let me know your thoughts. I look forward to your comments. Thanks for stopping by.